Tell me you got somewhere safer to sleep tonight other than that rusty old houseboat out there. A captain never abandons ship. Huh? Look, TC's out there rounding up people who might need shelter. Just stay here. Good luck, kid. Open up! Let me in! What happened to going down with the ship, girl? I was drunk, Dan. I'm sober now. Give me a drink. Chocolate chip frappe. Absolutely. Come to McDonald's for refreshing soft drinks and all kinds of delicious McCafe beverages, all at amazing values. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> you mean to tell me? You didn't actually see my client bite this other fellow's ear off. And the witness said, oh, no, sir. And counsel could have sat down right then and there, but no, he was bound and determined to ask one more. Well, if you didn't see my client bite this other fellow's ear off, how can you be so all fired sure he did bite the man's ear off? Well, sir, I saw him spit it out. My friend, the prosecutor, says that this is not a, a, a race question. This is a race and color, nothing to do with this case. This is a case of murder. I insist that there is nothing but prejudice in this case. That if 11 white men shot and killed a black while trying to protect their home and their lives against the mob of blacks, they wouldn't have dreamed of having them indicted. Oh, I know what I'm talking about, and so do you. You 12 white men are trying a colored man on race prejudice. Ah, you need not tell me you're not prejudiced. I know better. We are not very much but a bundle of prejudices anyhow. We are prejudiced against other people's color. Prejudiced against other men's politics. Prejudiced against other people's religions. Prejudiced about other people's looks. Prejudiced about the way they dress. We are full of prejudices. My only hope is this, that you are honest enough and decent enough to lay it aside in this case and decide it as you ought to. I have watched day after day these tense black faces who are now looking to you 12 whites, feeling that the hopes and fears of a race are in your keeping. Their eyes are upon you. Their hearts go out to you. Their hopes hang on your verdict. 